What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. Yes, we got us a new vehicle. It's a 2019 F-150 Lariat Edition. Kind of middle of the road, but we did get a lot of features on it just because it was a 2019 and we were able to get a good package deal because it was one they had on the lot. You can see it's got the PVD chrome type wheels or 20 inch chrome on the front. This one's got the extended range fuel tank. It's got the five liter Coyote V8 and I like it. But purpose of what I'm gonna show you guys today is a sound system. So this one actually has the B&O system. And the way that you know if you have the B&O system or not, other than you knowing that you paid for it, is if you've got this B&O logo right here in the center channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, where the subwoofer is and I'm gonna play with the sound system a little bit. We'll see how it sounds. All right, so this has the kind of the light, what they call it camel interior, which is like a light beige. The subwoofer and the amplifier are actually behind this seat and you can't really get behind the seat easily. There is a mod that you can get. There's actually a hook way back here. All right, so I got it unhooked after a little bit of wrestling. I'll show you right here on the latch you have to have to pull up this very small lever right here now the good thing is on amazon they sell an adapter that hooks in here it's like a plate and it has a strap that comes up and you just pull on the strap to be able to get back here check in the video description below i'll link to one i've already bought one should have one in here soon so here you can see this is the bno amplifier i think the sony amplifier looks very similar to this on the other models and there is the eight inch subwoofer molded plastic enclosure right there right behind the seat so it's nice and stealthy and everything is hidden i will tell you my theory about this sound system shortly <laughs> so i'm sure there's people asking out there who is bno bno is bang and olufsen it started in 1925 by peter bang and sven olufsen of denmark and they've always been known as a very high-end brand over the years if you've ever seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, the part where the big icicle flies in and busts up the stereo system, that was actually a B&O, Bang & Olufsen system. The Bayo System 4500 is the one that was in the movie. And you can see I found here one on eBay, about $2,200 $2, plus $200 shipping. But they've always been known as real high-end. You wouldn't see B&O equipment unless you were in a super high-end stereo shop. So here in the F-150, there's 10 speakers, nine channels, 675 watts. It has a DSP with adaptive volume, surround sound. It does require the Lariat package, optional on 501A. It's included on 502A. The King Ranch Platinum and Limited is standard. And if you get a Raptor, it's included on the 802A package. So as far as what the speakers look like, here's the layout. You can see the tweeters in the front, midwoofers in the door. In the rear door, they count those as two speakers each, and it's really not that much. And the sub in the back and the amp in the back. As shown here, the 502A package is $6,765 additional. Woohoo! All right, now that you've cleaned up the drink you spit out, let's take a closer look inside the vehicle here. You can see here in the front doors, there are six by nine inch midwoofers. We'll show you here on the left. That's it. Just a very basic looking midwoofer. Nothing too fancy there. And it's a nice trim panel there on the door. Now in the A pillar, they're one inch or 25 millimeter tweeters. You can see here on the left, on the right is a Focal one inch tweeter, much nicer. For the center channel, it has a three and a half inch or 80 millimeter mid range. And I didn't have one of those to show you, but yeah, same speakers on the other side as well. In the rear door, six and a half inch or 160 millimeter coaxial speaker with tweeter. They count those individually as speakers, not sure why. Behind the seat, we have the amplifier and also the 8-inch or 200-millimeter subwoofer. Next up, we're going to try a little sound quality test, so grab your headphones if you have them. Let's take a listen. All right, so here we have the Zoom H4n recording audio. And I'm just going to play just a little bit of this A to the O song. So now we have the Zoom recording. Hit the record button. I set the levels to be about optimal at the sound quality I think sounds best with the radio. So let's go ahead, I'll be quiet.
so that sounds actually really crappy here in the truck honestly it sounds bad i'm not sure how it's going to sound to you guys through the zoom mic but i'm going to go in and play with the settings real quick and i'm going to try that surround sound mode and let's see what it does It just surrounds me with more crappy sound, to be honest with you. It does not sound good either. We'll turn that off. We'll go back. And let's try a different song. All right, so we got another song. Amazing, or Amazer Laser. This is from the YouTube Audio Library. I apologize in advance. I can't play any real popular music because YouTube is going to flag it and take my video down. So I'm just going to play what I got. Let's see what it sounds like. I'll be quiet. All right, you can see it's 106 dB or so, right at 100 hertz. Uh, decently loud from inside the truck, but the quality and the clarity is just not there. Honestly, it's just not there. I'm hearing panels rattle. You know, this is a higher end version of this truck with the package and everything. I would at least hope they would sound dead in the doors a little bit. That right door is rattling like crap. I'm gonna take it back and have them fix that. All right, this is a little bit different song. It's not so much of a kind of a rap song. It's more of just a funk tune, but I'll let you hear it. But man, you're going to hopefully be able to tell over the zoom mic, uh, the harshness of the mids coming out of the doors. But here, I'll be quiet again and let you listen to it. Just for fun, we're going to try a maximum SPL test. So get ready. Here it comes. All right, guys. So we're going to have some fun today with the Ford Factory Bang & Olsen system. We're actually going to try it out on this SSA meter. And it's going to show the SPL on my cell phone, but it's actually going to be measuring it using this pressure sensor. So a lot of people ask me, what app am I using? You have to get this to be able to do what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to capture some audio for you guys using this Zoom H4n, which has really good quality microphones. So we'll do that as well so you guys can get an idea of how the system sounds. I know you're not gonna, it's not gonna be the same because you're gonna be using headphones or a cheap cell phone or something. So you're not gonna get exactly the same quality. Plus YouTube will compress the heck out of it, but at least it's better than nothing. So let's get started. We'll find out how much SPL we can do with this <laughs> system. All right, so here we have the SSA meter all hooked up, and I can show you if we hit this up here at the top, we can actually change the color, see how it's going from green to blue. You probably can't see that, to red. We'll just leave it on red. And we're gonna put the sound pressure meter down at the bottom of the kick panel here in the truck. The kick panel on the passenger side is usually the place where you get the most amount of uh, bass. So let's do that, and then we'll try it out and see what we get. 
All right, first up, we're gonna try A to the O. You guys have probably heard this one in my videos before, but let's keep an eye here on the sound pressure meter and let's see what we get with this song. Let's start it up. Seventeen point five five at 100 hertz and that was painful to the ear especially higher up we got to find out what frequency is best here and try that i really have no explanation why that song came up when i connected <laughs> my old iphone success i'm gonna use this one for the uh test tones that we're going to use for the ssa meter so let's try it out all right now we've got the tone gen pro app we're going to try to find the resonant frequency here getting some weird noise from the system we're not hearing anything yet finally start hearing something about 21 hertz 30 getting pretty good turn it down looks like 70 77 hertz is our number so that's what we'll go with all right now we have tone gem pro set on 77 hertz which is what we found out was the tuning frequency and then let's turn it up see what we get here we go what kind of spl can we get Alright, 119.8 and that right door speaker is rattling like crap. We're gonna have to fix that. So almost a 120 at 77 hertz. Now I got a sound chart here just to give you an idea of the level, the decibel level that we achieved. 119, almost 120 decibels, which equals an amplified hard rock concert, a siren, or pneumatic chipper. So what do our friends Dean and Fernando have to say about this premium system? Congratulations, man, on your new F-150. As some of you guys may know, we do a lot of F-150s. Derek reached out to us to find out what we thought about the new F-150 and its banging Olsen system. Fernando? Eh. Eh? Eh. Well, he's probably already pointed out that it has, you know, three speakers across the dash, including the center channel the mid base in the door, a subwoofer behind the seat, and it's a good attempt. And for a lot of you guys out there, it's going to be plenty. Well, maybe not a lot of you guys out there, people that buy them. If you're watching this video, my guess is you're into car audio, and well, you're not gonna be happy with this system. A couple nice things about buying the Bang & Olsen version is it has a preamp section that goes between the radio and the amplifier. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have the older version, which was Sony, there is an adapter made by PAC for that, and it's nice and simple. However, when they went from Sony to Bang & Olsen, the data bus between the radio and the amplifier changed, and it uses a service called A to B. Now, Nav TV makes the A to B interface, and I strongly recommend buying it. We've used it several times, and it's a phenomenal piece. It gets you a full preamp section. It retains all your backup sensors, your Bluetooth, your navigation, lane departure, everything that you need is there. It's a wonderful thing. Now, as far as speakers go, as he's shown you, it has a six by nine in the door and a tweeter in the dash. As we've found, they're great locations for an aftermarket upgrade. We've done plenty in there from entry-level Alpine S-Type all the way up to a set of 
Audison Thesis, six and a half. And we've gotten great sound and great results out of it. But that factory system, it's gotta go, man. It's gotta go. Yeah. Cheap bass, cheap bass. Oh. All right, so there you have my review of the B&O sound system here for the premium sound system for the 2019 F-150. I think they've actually made this B&O system for a few years and I think they still have it in the 2020 models. So um, yeah, I would skip it. You know, I'm a more of an audio geek probably than some of you, but you can get the cheaper system and then go to a car stereo shop and they can make it sound much better than what you're paying for to get this and have a much nicer system. So that's what I would recommend. But anyway, just wanna let you guys know, enjoy the truck, super nice. All of our other cars are old. I mean, 2008 Honda Accord is our newest car. So we keep cars forever. Hopefully this one will last forever. So hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, Big D, you know where I'm at. I'm out of here. All right, again, here you can see the SPL measurement on the phone. We have the SSA app on and I'll show you because we can actually change the color and stuff. If we go into here, here, if I can remember how to do it, there is a way to change the color. You big dummy.